Welcome back. Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian. We are honoured and delighted that she has chosen this show to make her late-night television debut. Her brilliant podcast, Shooter's Gonna Shoot, is available right now. Please welcome the wonderful Erica Spera. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to be here. I, uh, I recently turned 30. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you know this though. If you're uh, 30 and single as a woman, that's when strangers just start giving you dating advice. <laughs> yeah, everybody gets nervous, you know? My favorite piece of advice I've gotten recently was someone told me I should date older men. They're like, you gotta date older, okay? Older guys are more mature and they're more likely to want to settle down. And I'm here to report back that they are not more mature. <laughs> no, they are just tired. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, they don't hit you up at 2 a.m. because they just fell asleep. <laughs> they're, they're in bed at 10. Yeah. I've never really dated outside of my age range, to be honest, but I'm not against it, all right? My number one rule is, though, if I'm gonna date an older man, you have to be hotter than my dad. <laughs> He's not even hot, but that's my bar, you know? <laughs> that's my new measuring stick, is just, hey, if me, you, and my father walked into a restaurant, it needs to be very clear who I'm having sex with. <laughs> that's just for my own sanity, you know? But there are a lot of plus sizes dating older guys, I will admit. Like, for example, you never have to worry about them cheating on you, because you can read their phone from across the room. <laughs> and they never lock it. They don't know how to lock it either. It's open, you know? Yeah. I also like that older guys are a little more old school, you know? Because I want the guy I date to be a feminist, but only for me. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was the point of a relationship, is like, hey, we're on a team, and that means we don't root for anybody else. <laughs> yeah, if my man came home from work and he was like, ugh, honey, I've just had a very long day, okay? You are not gonna believe this. But Cheryl was getting no respect. Like, people kept talking over her, they kept interrupting her. I eventually had to stick up for her and say something. Do you think my reaction would be like, oh, babe, I am proud of you? <laughs> no, I'd be like, yeah, who's Cheryl? <laughs> yeah, why are you saying anything? <laughs> I don't know, maybe next time Cheryl has a problem, you could say something like, get your own man, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I have been trying to date more, though. I've been online dating for years, and in all my years of trying, this is what I've learned. I've learned that men don't read anything that you write on your profile. Do you know that? Yeah, they don't care. You just need two pictures, one of your face, one of your body. They'll make a decision. Yeah. And I proved this to be true, okay? Because I literally put on my profile that I had herpes. Yeah, not one man saw it. <laughs> not one. Yeah, I still got matches. Nobody would say anything, right? We'd be talking, and I'd be like, by the way, did you read my profile? And they'd be like, no, why? And then they would come back like, oh, uh, okay. Um, are you actually 5'11"? <laughs> or is that like in heels? Yeah. But I'll be honest with you guys, okay? I actually put that on my profile because I do have herpes. Yeah. Which, listen, when I first got it, I was terrified, right? I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And now that I've had it for a few years, I'm like, oh, this is nothing. <laughs> It's not a big deal at all, you know? Getting herpes is actually just like getting the chicken pox. Yeah, it's like you get some bumps, you take some medicine, and then it goes away. And that's it, it never really comes back. It just lives in your system forever, you know? <laughs> well, except unlike the chicken pox, when you get herpes, your mom's not like, ah. Uh... All right, we'll go get your brother and sister in here and everybody just get in at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to deal with this two more times, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will say this, one good thing about having it though, it has made me less judgmental of other people, all right? It's made me more open-minded. And I've dated people maybe I wouldn't have dated before, to be honest. Like recently, I went on a few dates with someone who had a kid. Yeah. But then when I told him I had herpes, he freaked out. And just immediately said, I can't do this, I have a son. I was like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, that is way worse than my thing. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> yeah. Right? I'm the fun one in the relationship. 
I'm not the one who's like, shh, my herpes is upstairs, sleeping. <laughs> Turn the volume down, put the subtitles on. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much. I'm here. Right now. Come on back, everybody.